Go to meteorologist Lauren Casey. She's in Brigantine with the Mobile Weather Watcher. Lauren? Thanks so much, Yuki. Yeah, here as well. It is wet. It is windy, and these waves are intense and now starting to crash against the seawall here in Brigantine. Really, in the last 15 minutes, and we're starting to see the waves come up and over the seawall. If I make it through this live shot without getting wet, I will be pretty happy about that. But check out these waves just thrashing up against the wall, shooting up that spray. Over yonder, we have that sea spray or that foam that's starting to accumulate now as the waves have been over crashing that part of the seawall for about about the last 45 minutes, but right now we're dry. A lot of sea spray coming up and soaking us, but we're in between rain bands right now. But those winds are certainly whipping, gusting, I would guess, up around 40 miles per hour, even higher. And these little gusts that kind of jolt you a little bit off your feet a little bit here on the uh, seawall in Brigantine. But people have been coming out, kind of marveling at the power of Mother Nature and some of these intense waves. And we're about an hour and a half away from high tide. It's hard to believe that Jose is about 200 miles offshore right now, the center from the Jersey coastline, and we're seeing these intense impacts, but we got lucky once again. As with Irma, Jose is passing offshore. It's going to continue to move off to the north and east and eventually dissipate, become a remnant low as we head into the next couple of days, but we're still going to see this elevated surf through the day tomorrow. The sun, though, will come out, but we are going to continue to contend with the threat of dangerous rip currents as we head likely through the rest of the week and into the upcoming weekend, Jess. So people still have to be concerned, even though the wind's going to start to die down tomorrow. The sun will return, but still a hidden threat due to Jose as we head into the rest of the week with that chance of some strong rip currents. All right, Lauren, thank you for that update.